Today is weigh day, and while we've got the lambs in the chute, we're going to get a few more things done. For one, we're going to deworm these lambs for deer liver fluke, which is a problem in this area. And while we're at it, we're going to collect some DNA samples to test for the Barula gene. The Barula gene is why we have so many ewes raising triplets on our farm. These samples will be sent to Gene Check in Greeley, Colorado. The 150 day weight or post weaning weight is the weight that we use to determine the lamb's genetic ability to grow without the influence of the mother. Earlier in the year, we took a 60 day and a 100 day weight to determine the mother's ability to grow a lamb. These weights are going to be sent to the National Sheep Improvement Program, which in turn is going to give us estimated breeding values. These breeding values will help us determine which lambs are superior at converting grass into muscle. We do not feed a supplement to our lambs on pasture with the exception of the triplet rearing ewes who for 60 days during lactation got a protein supplement in addition to the pasture. The average lamb weighed 89 pounds with our triplets actually weighing about four pounds more than the twins. Which is interesting because if you recall, the ewes got a supplement and apparently that carried over to producing better gains after the supplement ended. We're using Valbazin here and this is for the deer liver fluke, which is endemic throughout the Great Lakes region. I deworm for flukes every 60 days beginning in September. This is the device I use for collecting the DNA samples in. It looks just like an ear tag, except we're not going to leave an ear tag in the ear. We're just going to punch a hole through the ear and the little piece of tissue ends up in that stem on the tag. Of course, these projects always end up late. 